a Kazadi Films original. A beautiful disaster is what most gifts are made of. And a beautiful disaster is what brought us all here. My name uh, is Masuzio. I'm here on the Divorce Club to complain about my marriage. Um, that is my wife on my left, and then that is my mother-in-law. Um, I'm here to complain the fact that um, I've been living with my mother-in-law in the same And is that a problem? Is there a problem, us living with my mother? Hey babe, excuse me. There's no problem, but then can I just explain? Is that the reason why you brought us here? Can I just explain? Is that the reason why I was receiving phone calls to be here? No, my uncle, but to me, my pongos. Why can't we just have some quality time, honestly? Why can't we have some quality time? In a shock. Then, you know, I tried by all means. I was like, guys, does that make any sense? We could pangiran sense the vichiti cup. So over the course of the season, the last season of the Divorce Club, we've seen a lot of agony, we've seen pain, we've seen drama, we've seen perhaps laughter, if there's anything to laugh about in someone else's pain, but we've seen all that. So tonight we have some of our guests back in the studio to discuss what has happened in their lives ever since they were ousted or ever since they decided to oust their partner or to bring certain things to light. We've seen deceit, we've seen a lot. So tonight, again, as I said, we're bringing them back in the studio to discuss the aftermath, what happened after, how they are coping, and some things certainly need to be brought to light. I'm sure you all had a lot of questions, a lot of things that you concluded, but obviously it came to no conclusion because it wasn't your story. So sit back, relax, buckle up, get popcorn. It's about to get heated in here. Now, the last time we had a couple in here, a lot of drama, a lot of twists and turns. We had Isabella and Masuzio and the infamous mother-in-law. The mother-in-law wanted to be in the mix. No one knows why. So tonight, we've brought them back in to just have a quick chat about what's been happening. First of all, I'm going to bring in Isabella to tell us her side of the story and what's been happening. Please give it up for Isabella. Isabella! You look beautiful. Thank you. You look and, phenomenal. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you look, I mean, you look better than what you looked like last time. You were in fits last time, like. Yeah, I was throwing some punches. Things got real, eh? Yeah. Hey, and you can throw a mean one. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, well, I'm sure everyone wants to know, how have you been? Mm, truth be told, not so good. Tell I'm me struggling. about that. Struggling with what exactly? Depression. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Have you managed to get any help, like professional help? Or Divorce Club someone. is helping us with that, actually. Yeah, so we are getting therapy. We are meeting every week, once a week. We go there to get our... Yeah. Okay, I'm sure, well, by the looks of it, I'm sure it's helping, right? Mm, yeah, it is, actually. Well, you hesitated there. Is it helping? Mm, it depends on what. It's helping me with my dad, but with my mom and my husband, not really. We're getting there. Are you still in your matrimonial home or you've moved out? No, I'm staying with my dad at the moment. Well, last time you were here at the beginning, like you were not amused by your dad. You know what, dad? F you. Screw yourself. Kaya. Kaya. F you and get lost. Kaya. Chabe venga kambe. F you. F you. And f whoever. Lava kashwe no wene no tuba na tono to mafia loko kumbi. Once fie, muri mbwa fie once. Muri mbwa fie, use this. Ba konto. Ba push. 
you were not amused by your dad. So how's that going? Um, my dad and me are trying to patch up things. We're trying to build a father-daughter relationship, knowing that he wasn't there, he was absent for 16 years. But we're trying now. No, I mean, well, it wasn't his fault. Now we know that, right? Exactly. Although, well, I, I mean, I'm also a daughter. He could have tried a bit harder, don't you think? Maybe because my mom was pushing him away. But right now, things are getting better. I like that. I like that. It's always yeah. good to rekindle, like, relationships exactly. like that, you know? Exactly. And, like, where do you stand with your husband? Should I call him your ex? We're not yet divorced, but it's in the process, so... Call him my ex. I and you're, you're certain this is what you want? Things can't be patched up? That's what I want. Okay, and you have a little sister, Janet? Yes. How is that? How are your relationship? Like, is it the same relationship that you had? Or? Yes, yes. Me, my sister and me are okay. Yeah. She You've just been... came back. She just came back from school. She's staying at my husband's house because she didn't know what was happening. So she's there. At your husband's house? Yes. She's coming home next week. Oh, okay. And you're not scared that he might poison her against you? No, because I have a strong bond with my sister. I'm just trying to find an apartment and then she can move in with me. Oh, okay. I like, I like that. I like strong bonds. <laughs> yeah. I like that. So obviously, Masuzio brought this issue to us. And he, I mean, he accused you of a lot of things. How are you handling, like, obviously the judgment, the judgment on the street and then, you know, the way Africans, our African culture always says, like, the woman should act a certain way, whatnot. And certain things are shunned because it's the man who's done them. How have people received you, like, back on the street? How are you handling that? Um, it's wild. I can tell you it's wild, but I'm trying. Um, most people understand my situation because I, I was raised in a broken home. It's not my fault that I ended up in such a situation. Uh, which situation? The one where you cheated on your husband with your boss or which situation? Um, because there are a lot, I'm sorry, there are a lot of situations. So I want to understand which I one. I actually didn't cheat. It was an entanglement between me, my boss and my husband. Which your husband didn't know about. So that's defined cheating. I think he knew. I don't know, but I think he knew. You can have a clue if your wife is cheating. Uh, I don't think he so. He saw the you? signs, the red flags there. He saw it, he ignored it. Well, maybe he wanted to believe that you were actually not cheating on him. So he ignored them and didn't yes. think. It is what it is. I well, we'll never anything. know, right? Yeah. Your dad is also here in the studio with us. Precisely. So I feel like we also need to know like what he wants, what's going on, what, how he wants to move forward. The last time her father was in the studio, he gave us a bit of feedback on why he wasn't present in his daughter's life which obviously we all felt his pain as a father to be denied access to your children for so many years, for 16 years, he exactly. said. Yes. And we saw how, like, the agony he had, the pain he had, and then to a point where it looked like he had collapsed at the end of the, or towards the end of the show because he couldn't really take it. I think he was a good friend of mine. I think he was a good friend of mine. I think he was a good friend of mine. She's mad. She's foolish. Because there is no way umuntu fiori where we know mu utampo kula to ukula landa nala tampo kufula pachin so champongo shwa. But if she continues this way, na ine win in a la full. Full of shoe. They cracking up in doing about all this time. This level some good shall she be no matter what you go. You know that one. Yeah, yeah, no. So right now, all we need is for him to tell us exactly how he's been faring, how he's been coping with having his daughter back in his life, and also finding out certain things that happened here. So please welcome him to the floor. Welcome back. You look good. 
Thank you so much. I mean, everyone looks good today. <laughs> At least there's no nkondo. <laughs> there's no fighting today. So the last time you were here, I mean, towards the end of the confrontation, and it was a huge confrontation, you seem to have a bit of a health problem. What happened there? Are you okay? Yes, I'm taking medication, I think. So oh, far, so good. That's good to hear. We want you healthy. I mean, you're everyone's favorite, right? <laughs> Okay, so I want to know, how have you, I mean, the streets, like people out there, how have they taken you back, like in society, after everything that happened on the show, everything that happened? I mean, everyone liked you, but then, you know, not everyone might share the same sentiments about you. So how has that been? How have people been relating to you? Mm, I think uh, it's, it's not bad at all, because what has happened to me, in fact, in my family, it was not good at all. And it wasn't your fault, clearly. Yes. So it's a pity that it's a big drama that has happened. And it is. It's big, eh? Yes. <laughs> okay, so she mentioned that you're now trying to fix your relationship and you, she's been staying with you. How is that for you? So far, so good. And uh, I'm very happy for that because I've been missing my daughter for quite a long period of time. I can imagine. So now that we are together, we are trying to build up our relationship as father and daughter. I think I'm very happy for that. I mean, before the, the last time that you were here, you, you didn't have a relationship with her and obviously not with your son-in-law. Yes. Did you know your son-in-law before he married her? Did you know about his affair with your wife? No, no. Oh. I didn't know anything at all. You had never what, met him? No. What I knew that my wife was sleeping around. Did you know it was schoolboys? Yes, I know. I knew that it was student at the university, but I didn't know who. Oh, that's a shame. And now to find out that it's your son-in-law, that must be, I mean, that's painful. Traumatizing, no. actually. No. It was painful. And embarrassing, too. Your other daughter. Who I'm sure you still consider her your daughter because, well, you've considered her your daughter all these years, despite the fact that you suspected that she wasn't yours. Mm -hmm. Have you had any communications with her? Uh, she said that she's still staying with Masuzia. Yes, no communication at all. But I think for me, there is no problem with her because she's, as far as I'm concerned, she's just innocent. So oh. I have nothing against her. Do you think it's a good idea that she went to Masuzio's? Did you no one did no one try and go and get her? Because obviously he'll try tried, and tell her. I tried that. to tell her to come and stay with me and dad, but she said no, not until I get my own apartment. That's why I'm pushing for me to get an apartment. So probably next week she'll be staying with me. Okay, well that's that's a bit weird, don't you think? She didn't know anything, not until she came back from school. So she because we're living at that house. So she went direct to that house. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I just, I mean, I'm sure everyone is wondering, wouldn't she want to be with you guys, given that things are a bit hard for you guys right now? I actually thought she'll be with mom, but I don't know. She just told me that she was at Sujo's house. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose at some point we'll need to speak to her too, right? Mm -hmm. But for now, I think we need to bring in Masuzio because despite the fact that he had his well, part to play in all this drama. We also want to hear what he has to say. So, I'm going to bring in Masuzio. Please welcome okay. Masuzio to the show. What money are you talking about? 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 Talking about? What money are you talking about? You don't be stupid. Fuck off. What do you mean? What money? What money? Masuzio, I get lost to what I'm going to call it. Can you just leave there? No fighting, please. So why are you coming close to me? Why are you coming close to me? Why are you coming? Ah, fuck you, except. You know. Anyway. You are too stupid. Wait. Masuzi, please, please calm down. Who said that? Are you one? You're not stupid. You're not stupid. You're not stupid. You're not stupid. You're the one who's stupid. Fuck you. Please, can you settle down? Please settle down, Masuzio. We need to. We need to actually talk she like adults. Just my money from home. What yes, money? What money? What, what money? What money are you talking about? Are you stupid? Are you foolish? Let's talk about that, guys. Let's settle down so we can talk about this, Masuzio. I did not know that down. I was actually here for this. It's very yes. stupid. Ah, like, fuck you. You're just an idiot. That's why they're not die way. Kawala, stupid. You cheap ass bitch. That's the reason why I beat up your boss. Please sit down and let's settle this. Settle down. Please settle down. 
Are you okay? I saw that. Okay. That I might. Well, Mrs. Susie, clearly you're not happy about something. I was going to ask you if you're okay, but you're not okay, clearly. What, what's going on? This lady, this so-called woman... I don't know what you're Excuse talking me, about. Let him speak, let don't him speak. Don't actually argue with me. Mrs. Susie, really, answer, answer me. Answer me. What can you do? Ma okay, Isabella, we'll have to escort you if you keep doing that. You know, it's... I'm, I'm thinking she's out of my life, but I don't know what she still wants to... What has she done? Are you stupid? Can you let him speak? Let him speak. Don't actually talk to me. I'm going to do you bad. You can't do anything. I'll There's no the need to, to insult hey, each excuse other. Excuse me. It's, that's my money. Mind the way I talk to who? I'm the bitch? Hey, hey, Motherfucker. What are you telling Guys, me? Guys, let's calm down. I'm pretty sure you I'm fuck your mom. Okay. I'm pretty sure you fuck your mom. If you can fuck my mother, you can fuck your mom. Don't fuck your mother. Don't even care what you're saying. Guys, let's calm down. Let's calm down. She can't just give me a peace of mind. Why should you follow me? I thought I was done with her. What does she want? I'm done with you. What does she want in my life? Who wants to be? I don't want to have anything to do with you. Please. Fuck you. Where did you get his money? I went home, I got the money. That's the money my boss used to give me. Well, what's your boss? That's how you're gonna fuck up your boss because too. Yes, I used to give me the money. The money I used to feed you, you what did you say? I used to feed you. Yes! Were yes. well, you not yes. working? I was feeding you! I, I was feeding you, business. yes! She's I was feeding you! I, 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 I was feeding you! 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 What are you saying? Stupid ass! Guys, if we continue like this, I might have to escort one of you out so we actually have a proper conversation. Can you, you message your What time are you talking down. about? Message you can go and report down. that case to the Isabella? police. Isabella, are you Isabella? Stupid. Let's calm down so we can actually have a conversation. There's no point in insulting each other and then we don't hear anything. All you're doing is insulting each other. So, okay, this money, she says that she was using that money from her boss to feed you. Were you not working? I am doing my own business. Were you working at the time that <laughs> you were together? I've been working and I've been, I've been doing my own stuff. So you were providing? I, of and course. you mentioned well, beating. Be you mentioned. Me. Can you follow me? Follow me. Well, you mentioned you that crazy? you 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 were feed. You were the provider and all that. But she That's mentioned. Not true. That's not true. What do you mean? It's not true. It's not true. I used to provide. You used to provide. got a small you, small business. I was the one who was working. I was. Yes, yes. That's the same money you want. Zau lozi funa. Are you mad? Zau lozi funa. That's my money. How? Okay, fine. So you mentioned you beat up her boss. You, is this why you lost your job? Yeah. What was that about, Mrs. Yo? You went to a workplace? I want to beat up the boss. If I actually found them, I was going to kill them together. <laughs> with what hands? That's a bit criminal. With what hands? With what hands? I was going to deal with both of you. And it's actually you're not man fire. enough, Masuja. Okay, you're not man enough. enough. You're, you're not, not man enough. enough. That's why it's not all this here. Yeah. You're yeah. not man enough, okay? Can you calm down? Screw yourself. Masuja, okay, so you did what you did. We won't judge you for that. But then there's another issue here. Janet is still staying with you. And she apparently she said she would only move out of your place when she finds an apartment, which, well, she's still trying to make amends with her father. So, well, she is still staying. Is that me. you accepting that she's your child? No. Janet is not my child. Janet is my sister in law. So the thing is, Janet is just. Janet came back from school. In the process of her coming back from school, she did not know all that transpired. So you told her, did you brief her? I was about to. You but haven't the, done it it's, yet. It's something, it's something that's so complicated, I didn't know how to... Com uh, please explain these, these complications you speak of to us, uh, because, well, we obviously want to know what complications... Is it, does she not have the right to know what's been going on in her family's business? It's a long story. We have, we've got time. It's a thing where... Um, I don't know how I can put everything up. Put it the way you want. I'm sure we'll understand, right? Um, you can't say anything. Let him speak. Excuse Let me. him I'm speak. Not, I'm not talking to you. Okay, speak to me. Speak to me. It's a thing where, um, of course, the so-called mom-in-law disturbed everything. The time she went to school and back, she was not aware about the whole lot of that nonsense that happened. And Which then, I would think that maybe you would have told her the moment she came back so that she doesn't hear anything from I was, out there. I was in the process to explain to her. Meaning you had started or you hadn't started? The process was in your head? Yes, because I'm Which a Which one busy is it? Person. I'm a very busy person. I'm, I'm in and out of town. So the time I was about to do that, that's uh, the exact time actually someone came to you and stole, got the money that I was... I, I feel like you're now deflecting from the actual question. Why haven't exactly. you told Can her you by now, Mr. answer the question? And that's not your money. Can you please let me answer the ask the questions, or we're gonna have another confrontation which we I, don't I, want. I, I am here to tell her. I am here to tell her. You chose TV? to tell her on TV. Wow, you like TV, Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. 
Okay, and your your mother-in-law or ex-lover, have you had any conf like have you spoken to her since the last time you guys met? I would appreciate it if you're actually gonna make a very are still person. sleeping she's together. Not, she's not my ex-lover. You were with her, Masuzi. Are you denying that? Mistake. But you were with her. That's the point. So, okay. What, have you spoken to her? I can't. I don't have anything to do with that woman. I do not want to have nothing to Apparently, do with that Apparently, you haven't... You've, you've dodged a bit to get the DNA test done I, and all that. And let me ask... Wanna... The, no, let me... No, but you finally did it. And we appreciate that. But I'm saying, why is that? Why were you not forthcoming? I've just been busy. I've just been busy. Too busy to find out if someone is your child or not. Or to clear your name, rather. It's... But why am I being accused? Why am I'm not accusing you. It's I'm a question. I'm being put on the spot by like saying Janet is my daughter. She's not my daughter. No, I'm saying you. obviously you'd want to know because but this woman people, claims that she's but, but she's that she, she carried she, your she child. She isn't my daughter. She isn't my daughter. Why is everybody... People are saying that because you're full of shit. Okay, I'm sure you that... You are full of shit. You're the one who's full of shit. You're the one who's full of shit. Guys, this will not take us anywhere. Who is a good dear, sir? Don't be stupid. After you yes, I would, like yes, I would. Oh, oh wow. Well, we're going to do this the whole day between you two. Before we take a break, we're obviously not coming to a conclusion. In, this is hearsay. The DNA test will obviously tell us a lot later. But for now, we're going to take a break. And bef and when we do come back, we'll bring in Masuzio's mother-in-law slash lover and Isabella's mm. mother. Catch us after the break. worth it. Ah, uh, Part-time loan shark and a massive pain in my ass. Huh? Is Mateo in? Do I look like Mateo? I know you're in there, Mateo. Ah, uh, daddy. Hey! You're catch you? Time is up. And you've got the guys. I just need you get off Chaka. You almost fell away. Are you stupid to give my money to Chaka? Instead of got the cash, just give me some time. Hey, 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 hey. I'll give you one week. Every day you don't pay. I'm adding interest. Okay. Big man. On your back. A Kazadi Films original. Welcome back to the Divorce Club reunion. My name is Priscilla Nolan, your host. So before we went for a break, we had a bit of a confrontation here. It kind of got a bit violent, too violent for myself. But well, we managed to calm that situation down. And obviously, a lot of things have been said back and forth between Masuzio and Isabella. One of them being about whether Masuzio is actually the one who fathered uh, Linda's child. Linda is Isabella's mother. So last time we had Linda here, a lot happened. So before we bring her in, we're just going to have a quick recap to see what happened the last time that Linda was on the show. Hello, mommy. No, but in a party, so I'm kitchen in day picaini. I sat up a kunskata kumata. My oh, yo, itako is a monica wino arranged to make your mouth itako yanji name monica wino. Name monica wino. I wait, send to workshop, not to workshop with fish. Why do you pom one on the arc and fish up of work as you could eat? Taunfa? That's how tie she will kite shape of a little bit of bang and. So she should have a kunsta and you will let a catarach in Japo. If you have a few. I'll be saying there, right, you have put on your tonia, Kula Antonia in the name Kula and Bos, Nadikula in Nadi. Never feeling the Adipua. Imagine. So we did promise you that Isabella's mother would be called on to give her side of the story. So please welcome Linda to the show. Welcome back. Thank you very much. So, uh, first of all, obviously, we want to know how you've been faring. How have things been? I've been very bad. Oh, would you like to fill us in on that? What's been happening? Uh, the thing is, I've been trying to go and talk to my daughter. My ex I've told you to leave me alone. Let her speak, please. They don't want to be like to talk to me. Do you do you see why? Like, don't you understand why? Don't you feel like maybe they're a bit justified? Ah, uh, So. 
I'm going back to story Most of the time, that's my phone. Time just can. But no one thinks. And no one answers. Stop. Mm-hmm. Have you remember. managed to speak to your daughter, the your other daughter, your younger daughter? Janet, no. She has gone to school and done. Because now, I'm going to show you the former. I'm going to show you the one. Quiz like that. I thought you said you hadn't briefed her. Why she's not talking to her mother because of you? Why, why, why would I actually talk to her? I've got no time to talk no, to her. No, no, no. Her yeah, daughter. I think she's Janet. more worried about her daughter than... Excuse me. What do you talk to you? What, what, excuse me. What do you people want in my life? Excuse me. What do you guys want in my life? Honestly. She wants to talk to... She wants to talk to her daughter. She would like to talk to her daughter. My question is, have you... You told us she hadn't spoken to Linda. Excuse me. No, listen to me. Your children want. You spot everything. And you still want to come back. Honestly. You spot everything. Okay, clearly, clearly you two do not want anything to do with each other. So maybe let's talk about why she hasn't spoken to Janet. You don't think that you had a part to play in all this that's happening to you? Don't you think that part of what's happening right now to you is your fault? The secrets and the lies? without me I talk about a problem you so you admit that this was this was your I doing. agree this is but, my problem okay so I do you think this problem but, on my own okay but, well but, I can but, see no, that no, no, uh, but, no, why, why does he keep on saying I was a boyfriend how many guys did you excuse me no, no, what, but, but, but why? we don't want to hear nonsense Can we calm down? Can we calm down, please? Masuzio. Masuzio. Who are you, woman? Who are you? Can you just Masuzio. Can we calm down? We'll have to. Can we calm down so we get on with the show? Can I tell you from Mario, from Kuskuru, I know Banana could be shouting. Okay, Masuzio, I can't walk. Guys, we didn't come here to attack anyone. We're trying to get here to attack anyone. We're trying to get here to go on with our lives. Can security, security, one arm, why we? You know what I'm gonna deal with you. Deal with me. Can we calm down? Can we Can we calm down so we can actually get on with things? Please okay, take okay, a seat. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to fight you. Please, 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 please take a seat and please stop throwing Hala. things. You can take your shot. Thank you, guys. Linda, can, can, can I ask the questions? Yeah. Mrs. Yo, you keep saying she keeps mentioning you. I think the reason why she keeps mentioning you is because you're the only, if I should call you an ex, that's on the show. So can we get on with the show? She's not, we're not saying you're the father to Janet. We're just saying that she keeps mentioning you because obviously you're the only lover she's had that's on the show. I mean, that was a schoolboy at the He's time. So if we could get on with the show. Can, Linda, do I have to escort you out or should we get on with the show? Thank you. Anyway, Linda, so uh, what we want to know, obviously everyone wants to know, how did you meet him? I we know him that you met friend. him. Oh, okay. Yeah, through my friend because your I friend was a teacher as well. Not really. Yeah, she had a uh, a son there. Uh, so when taking things there, and then this was a uh, a friend to my friend's son. You understand? Some mm. toilet fiacula. Which will obviously we all now want to know now. Were you also sleeping with your son's with your friend's son? No, 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 no. We had more now. Oh, you? I like the way you said no, no, no. He wasn't your type. Uh-uh, he was too young for me. He was younger than these boys. This How guys. old was Masuzi at the time? He was uh, 19 years old. How old were you? I was 32, 31, 32 somewhere there. Oh wow, catch them young, eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, guys. Okay, so you met him, and you said there were like three others. Yeah, quite even but that too, but I wasn't serious with them. But she was still so sleeping with them. She's lying. No, can we, can, can, we need her to, to actually <laughs> have a <laughs> no, can you? But, but, but why of all the people did you just have to... You were for me to leave my husband and follow you. You, f- said, you follow. That's why you. Le- that's why yes. things with your husband didn't work. Yes, because that. of him. Sure, you I wanted got pregnant. I got pregnant for him. Mama. Did you try and reach out and tell him? 
Nene mo abata na no because I was sleeping with some other guys. Message your letter speak. Why do you message you see me that I impregnated her? You know why? Message the shape of the first Masuzi, you're lying. She's lying, please. I do not do nothing. She is lying. Okay, we're Total going to lies. we're going do to get to the bottom of this at some point. But why? 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 Because obviously those questions will be answered. So now, Mrs. Yo, can I have the floor? Thank you. So for now, what I want to know is, you as someone's mother, you find your daughter has met someone who was your ex-lover. And she's obviously serious and she, she wants to get married to the guy. And she's, obviously they're in love. And you want Why to didn't you tell her? Relationship because they were in love. You thought she would never find out? Uh, because me and Mrs. Yo, we, we talked about that... Not and promised each other yes. that she wouldn't. But that then that you're, that, that that is not the him. one who brought this to light. It was you. So, well, how do you explain that? After I find out that uh, she's going out uh, with Masuzio. Did that hurt you? Yeah, because... You still love her. No, no, not, not loving her. Not even, sorry, not loving him. Because Nari shot Nai Kwetoma and Nana Masuja because I've been in Uyuna Uyuna Janet, my sisters. And then Nai Kwetoma, I know. So shall I But you waited years. How long were you married? One year. You waited for a whole year to tell your daughter, and after she'd already, now she's going to record wanted of to a tell film her, married. I wanted to tell her, but Masuja Aden Khan. Masuja Aden Khan, you're facing Masuja, did you think she was going to find out? She was even threatening me to say, Tuala Mtafia Munga and Dashan, and then. Okay, is that why you kept going into his bedroom in lingerie? I mean, close to close to naked. He mentioned that you just come in willy wally into his bedroom in inappropriate places. Freedom, yeah, freedom, freedom, freedom in your son fire. son in law's house. Yeah. I freedom and that was my mistake. That was my mistake. The biggest mistake I ever made in my life. So, do we agree that we all had a part to play in this drama? I, I, except I, I, him, I, I, of course. No, I, I did not. I did not. How did you not? You brought the show, the, the story to the show. Uh, you were sleeping with your mother in law at some point and you chose not to tell you. All this just got complicated. And what you're saying is this. Yeah, yeah, excuse, excuse, excuse me. me. Excuse excuse me. me. Why do you want to pretend? Why are you not threatening me to say if you don't join you? Yeah, don't have to say that. Linda, don't you think that at this point, obviously, you do owe your husband an apology after everything? Your ex-husband, yes. After everything yeah. you did to him, unless there's other things that were done to you that we don't know about. And don't you think that I mean Janet deserves to deserves a better like a better family to like to actually be sat down so that people talk to her and tell her despite your differences, don't you all think that that's what she deserves? Instead of you saying you're still everything counting on telling us. Everything is ruined. We'll never be the same family but again. But she deserves to know, to know yeah, what's she happening. Does. She but it can never be the same. So none of you think that you can heal and move on from this? We just need to change. Change our lifestyles. Change. We don't need certain people in our lives. I don't need my mother. I don't need this man. Are you sure? Okay, I'm going to get into it. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. Before we go, before we keep going in circles, I can't fly. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. The point is for us to go forward. So I think right now the best the best thing that we can do for anyone right now is to bring in Janet so that we actually have a conversation with her because she deserves to know. So she is here and she also has things she would like to express. So before we bring in Janet, let us take a look at the moments that brought Janet into the situation that is confusion. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? How did you know my mom? 
was what? genital? What? What are you talking about? Genital? Genital? No, no, what are you saying? 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 What are you No child has to go through this. And so right now, for the first time, please welcome Janet to the floor. <laughs> Janet, welcome. Thank you. You look beautiful. Thank you. Obviously, this isn't easy for you. So my first question is, would you... Um, okay, before we go any further, I okay. have something to say. I've been in school and everybody just keeps laughing at me. It's like I'm the laughing stock of the whole oh, I'm school. I'm so sorry about that. And I just I just want to say that no matter what happens, even though the DNA results come out, me and my sus you aren't breaking up. What do you mean what breaking up? What do you mean breaking up? We've been seeing each other. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, it's Exactly, you were having sexual relations with Mrs. Yu. That you pies for how long? That you pies from the beginning with me. Don't let don't let it don't from the beginning. From the beginning of the year. So for almost as long as he's been married. married. I tell yeah. you an event once. Janet, why, if I should ask, yeah, why because would you he... do this to your sister? Because he's ready for him and I'm not ready. No, I'm not ready for him. I'm not ready for him. I'm not ready for him. We're going to go on a break and when we come back, we'll have more for you. Stay with us. I thought you had the deal. What's going on? I saw you on the news. So what? I'm a politician and I can be anywhere. I didn't realize who you were. So what? You know, I thought I was only going to show our little video to your wife. No, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Sweet up. I'm going to need a little favor from you. What favor? I already gave you the $500. I'm going to need $1,500 a week. From where? Where is that going to come from? $1,500 from where? $1,000. That won't happen. Where from where? That's so unfortunate. Peter, what? Hey, hey. Welcome back to the Divorce Club reunion. So before the break, Obviously, we found out that Janet apparently has been dating Mesuzio. And as expected, tempers fled. Like, it wasn't a pretty sight. So we had to take a break so people calmed down. So now, we obviously need to find out the gory details, find out answers and more. So Janet, you said you've been dating Mesuzio. How long has this been going on? Um, the beginning of the year. Wow, so I you've was, been I dating. Was, I was Masuzio, taking care Let her speak, let her speak. So you've been dating your brother-in-law for almost as long as he's been married? You can say it like that. Why would you? Doesn't it make you feel bad? Why would you do that to yourself? I was taking care of you. Just I was just let her speak. Janet, you were taking I was... care of her sexually. Can you let her speak? Please? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let her stop it. Don't let her understand. Let her speak. No, no, no. Can we let Janet speak, please? Janet, so you don't regret being with I mean, don't you feel bad? Not really. Eh? Why is that? But I'm your sister. Because yeah. I was in school and she never really even cared. I so stayed you there for a whole. I stayed there. I was working. I was working. I stayed, working. Was working. I stayed there for a whole year. I stayed there for a whole year and she never even came to visit. He was the one who used to come to visit and he used to bring me. I my used food to send him to come and clothes. Excuse he never me. said it like that. He told me that you never wanted me. Huh? He said What? that you were a burden. That you I was a burden. So, Mr. Zio, you know what's Can we not? Right now is not the time to play blame game. Clearly, the victim is here. She's a child, and Mr. Zio, doesn't that sound like you took advantage of a situation and kind of twisted things to suit your your intentions? How do you explain this? Not, not really. I was, I was simply taking care of her, but then by dating a minor. It's not really. Uh, She's not a minor. Masuzio, 
And you really don't feel Jesus bad about Christ. doing this to your sister because clearly, as you can see, he didn't tell the whole truth about your sister and why she wasn't coming. I guess I kind of feel bad, but the feelings have already grown. I kind of already like him now. Then we fight. Then we fight. Come to the fire. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, you're throwing stuff at me. What's up? Shut up! Shut up! Let's calm down. Please calm her down, security. Well, Janet, do you? How how does this? I mean, how does this make you feel seeing your family like this? Clearly, they're very protective of you. So you feel like it doesn't matter anymore. My family has always been messed up. So you decided to go and get revenge by sleeping with your sisters. It's husband. not really revenge. What is it? What is it's it? just like it's messed up. So what's the point of me? Why, 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 why didn't you say no when so he asked you to ask, sleep with him? Why didn't you just say no? Why? And if it turns out that he is your father, actually, you still want to go ahead with this so-called relationship of yours. Doesn't that feel wrong and sick to you? Our family is always bad. Bad. Boy, So bad. you're going to make it sicker. He can't be my dad. What do you no, mean? He can't be my dad no, because no, 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 no. how are you supposed to it's fall in love with your father? You're not ashamed. So why were you? Why why would you be sleeping with your sister's husband? First, let's start there. Besides the fact that she said even if she wasn't coming to see you at school, he should have been a father figure to you. I didn't want to have a brain on my My child, she didn't know anything. She didn't know anything. And And Masuzia, do you know the implications of this? The consequences of sleeping with a minor and having an actual relationship? Because you've claimed on national TV that she's better than her sister. In what terms, if you could just enlighten us? In the sphere. I mean, you've slept with all the women in one family. Linda, can, I, can you let him answer? All you know, she's... She's not my daughter still. Yeah, man, but it's okay for you to have sex with her. Why? 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 With Isabella and your father. But I was only, I was only taking care of her. I don't, no, I'm asking taking care of her how? You took care of her, her hey, by Janet, sleeping with her. Wasn't I just, wasn't it just a good favor that I asked? I was only helping you out. By so, sleeping with her? So you're going to deny. For, also, no, you're going to. You're go, yeah, they know. And here he is denying it. We start bringing proof, witnesses. You don't think he's been using you? No, because it's like both of them are tired of the relationship, but they're just too, what do you mean? I don't know, they're too scared to admit it. What do I, you mean, scared, tired of the relationship? Like he, but they were together. Him him the time we got let married. her speak, please. You slept with someone the day you got married. Someone oh, else. See, this, this is what I've been talking about. No way. This is a stupid oh, thing. This is what I've been saying. How do you know this? You're yes, such an embarrassment. Look at you. Honestly. Let's get on with the conversation. Let's get on with the conversation. Why did you find it? How do you know this? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Cut. Okay. Oh, how did you know this? We, I found her in... I found her in... Linda, let her speak, please. I found her in her dressing room with Jacob. Who is Jacob? Ask her. She knows. Who is Jacob? You're quiet now, ka? Jacob is my former schoolmate. Okay, so whether whether you found your sister, yeah. you still went into a relationship, and well, of course you didn't cause all these problems, but you have been sleeping yes, with her husband. Man, they are both tired of each other, so it's I better like I take she... over. Is it because he, wait, what you want to take over? Yeah. So is it because of the money or no? It's just that me and him, we really we've got feelings for each other, even though he's like an ass sometimes, and he won't admit it right now. But he tells me he loves me every day. Hey. Yeah, oh, wow. Mm. Mrs. Yo, hey. what do you have to say about this? Hey. You're not disputing. Oh my God. Hey. Talk. Mrs. Yo, you're quiet. I like to put it all in me. So I, after your friends saw the whole show on TV and I whatnot, seen that song. What, you still want to continue with this and the possibility that he might be your father? He's not my dad, and who cares about my friends? Anyway, it's not like we'll be swap. friends forever. How would you know that he's not your father? He can't be my dad. How can you catch feelings for your father? That's impossible. 
Oh wow! I feel like we could go on and on about this questioning each other because she's she said in a way. But then for now, we have the DNA results, and when Not we get way. back, we will put all this to rest. Catch us after the break. Welcome to the only game show in Zambia where you can get paid to lie. Thank you, Bebe. Oh, one second. You can't even trace me to her. So you don't think she's an honest person? She's a woman, man. Which woman is honest? <laughs> yes, you heard right. For the first time in the history of our country, your lying skills could pay the bills. I have the money. How much do you I have the, a man. Those two, those two, those two. Those two. Now I'm going to tell you that I do not have. No, no, no. Vanessa, <laughs> who do you think? I'm going to talk to you in your accent. Show us, who did you vote for who should be eliminated? <laughs> Jacob! The only person I truly believe, like with my heart, that they're not the robber is him. That's it. Because this girl. You wanna chase me out? <laughs> but my darling, I come to stay. You have to trust me. I've told I've told the truth the entire show. <laughs> I'm Cassandra Mwapi and this is Bankers and Rob. A Kazadi Films Original. She's not my daughter, please. Yeah. And she can't well, be. She can't be. The what you don't find Let's say that. Can I stop me squat car pan ya canon? Let's say that she can't be. Shall I go back to Olympia? Shall I go back to Olympia? Going to push. Yeah. Masuzi. We will shop over there. We can fund the car for more money. Now we can no no. We will take our van to come in. Excuse me, she is not my daughter. 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 She is not my daughter. She is not my daughter. Welcome back to the Divorce Club reunion. So before we went on a break, we obviously found out that Masuzio has been having an affair with yet another one of the women in the family. This time, Janet. Isabella's younger sister. He first denied it, obviously, but then while clearly now after him sh shooting a shot at Isabella by telling her that Janet is better than her, well, now we know the truth. So to put all this to rest, we need to find out if Janet is actually Masuzio's daughter. Uh, can we have silence so that I actually read the results? The following DNA tests were conducted on the 24th of October, 2021. In the case of Linda versus Masuzio, when it comes to 17-year-old Janet. The results came back. At 98.6%, the results state that Masuzio, you are the father. Security, can we have the health personnel on the, on the floor, please? Before the mates, before the mates, he was younger than you. He was still younger than you. So what? Love doesn't matter. Whether it's exactly, younger, what? then it's the same thing with you. No, we're talking about brother in law. Is your brother? No, that time I used to go out with him. He never used to be my son, you know. Please bring in Masuzio. Security, please bring him back in. Oh. Janet, oh what are your sentiments? What do you think right now? What are you going to do right now? He can't be my dad. But the, the tests are here. No, they have to be rigged. Rigged <laughs> by who? The way he had an independent institution to do the tests. No one here knows anyone there. No one even knows, like, when we did them. They didn't know. Do you still think you can have a relationship with the man who fathered you? 
So you still think he's not your father? Mrs. you the results are in. This can't be possible. What do you mean it can't be possible? You had it, sex it, with it, this it, woman, it yes? Be, it can't be my you daughter. What the hell school? The results are here. You had sex with this woman. She got pregnant. You were doubtful, but the results are here. So meaning you were right. She can't be my daughter. Why? She can't be my daughter. And why? She can't be my daughter. Not to move, Isabel. Stay up. How does how how does this make you feel, Dad? Does it change your relationship with her, or how does it make you feel? I'm short of words. So you've slept with your mother-in-law, you've slept with her daughter, and you've slept with your daughter, whom you shared with your mother-in-law, your wife's sister. How does that make you feel, Mrs. Young? Oh, I'm Don't you think you owe it to your family to make things right now? Given that, okay, maybe you think your, your reasons were valid, but then it's still not right, Janet. She's your sister. This is the man that was her husband. And this is now the man that you know for, without a doubt, he is your father. <laughs> and you say you love him? But well, he's been denying you the whole time. This lover, father of yours. He does love me. Well, he has made it clear that he doesn't. No, he does. He's just trying to get in my head, he does. Actually, I'm not. I'm really trying to give you perspective here. I don't want it. <laughs> okay. And Ms. Uzia, you have nothing to say. Aska, very deep. This is abomination. Hmm. Well, clearly, viewers, <laughs> this situation just got complicated. <sighs> if you missed it, we did get the DNA results back. Masuzia turns out to be Janet's biological father without a reasonable doubt. The situation said as, as it may be, I mean, we need to face facts. This relationship clearly can't go on. She is a minor to start off with. He clearly manipulated her and has gotten into her head. Janet believes she loves him and she's not trying to end this or make this right with her family. Now people, if this is happening in your families or to a family that you know, you know that there's a man who is preying on youngsters, on young girls, young boys. Yes, young boys, it happens. The first thing to do is to report it because it, you can't hide things like this. They always come out. The children that are being abused deserve a chance at life. Janet clearly has her own opinion at this age, it's kind of hard to turn a child's mind around and make her see things from everyone else's point of view. But it can be done. It's not something impossible. Clearly, a lot has come to light in the last episode that this family was on the show and in today's episode. Infidelity causes drama. Lies always come to light. You know the saying, anything that happens in the dark always comes to light. <laughs>